and welcome to Lexington Remembers. Today is Thursday, January 19th, uh, 2017, and my name is Beverly Kelly, and I'm going to be doing the interview along with my husband, Peter. And we are delighted today to have three sisters from a, a large family uh, called the Porter family. And some of you may know their Porter Wilson greenhouses, which stood at the corner of Adams Street and E Street. Well, these are the ladies from the Porters, the Porter part of the, the greenhouse. Um, uh, and they had four other siblings. Uh, some of you may have known Mae Baskin. That was their oldest sister. Then they had a sister, Dorothy, and a sister, Jean, and one brother. So there were six girls and one brother uh, who was William, but known as Buddy. And today, the ones that we have is this. <laughs> this is Helen, <laughs> Helen Porter Brown. And the next one who was born, yeah. right, you, was Ruth Porter Fullerton. Right. And then we have Nan Porter Sickles. Is that correct? correct yes. Okay. And uh, Helen is 95 years old, and Ruth is 93, right. and Nan is 87. So that kind of gives you an idea of the family. Uh, the parents came over from Ireland, um, and I'll just show this since we're talking about the, the generation that came over from Ireland. Uh, this is their mother. This was taken a long time ago in front of their home. Their home was on Adam Street. Um, which and the house is still standing and I'll show you a picture of the home in fact the garden club this past Christmas had an open house and this house was included in the open house and that house is still standing on Adams Street so that gives you a little bit of a background and uh, I guess with that I'd like to turn it over to the well, ladies or Peter? <laughs> ladies, uh, thanks again for being here, and I hope you don't argue about the memories we're trying to sell <laughs> out of you. No. But could you, could uh, uh, perhaps the oldest, and then we'll talk to the wisest, but perhaps <laughs> you could tell us the memories, the early memories you have of growing up on the Porter Farm in the big house on Adams Street, and what things that you did as children. In what school did you go to in Lexington? Well, um, I'll start with myself. Yeah. Um, we went to Hancock School. In yes. those days, there were no buses. We had to walk from our home on Adams Street to Hancock School that was and a... come home for lunch as well and go back. <laughs> that was a long walk then. <laughs> yes. For lunch. Even in the wintertime. Yes. Even now, winter. did you walk up Hancock Street or Merriam Street? We, we walked Hancock Street. Okay. And okay. we figured it was one mile to the Minuteman statue. No, just one. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that must have been a long lunch. It must have taken you 15 yeah. minutes well, to I get... Think they, as I remember, I think it was an extended lunch hour for okay. them to get home and back. Mm -hmm. Right, sure. Sure, and, uh, sure. And you had, I remember we met um, like a week or so ago to talk things over. There was a policeman that you oh, spoke of that yeah. used to help yes. you cross, uh, I guess. You remember I that have, man? Yeah. His, uh, his daughter, he was Ned McGuire. Ned. I was a very good friend of his daughter, Patty. But Ned, when you would be crossing the street, would swing you, you'd get halfway across, he'd give you a little swing <laughs> and send you on your way. Uh -huh. And it was just such yeah. a happy, relaxed time, mm -hmm. never had any fear of a policeman mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, like he was a wonderful time. man. I've mm -hmm. heard a lot of nice stories about did him, mm -hmm. too. Things he did that were kind of special. Mm -hmm. Did you yeah. cross, did he help you cross or cross at Massachusetts Avenue by the library? Right. Is that by the library, library. Right. yeah. Okay. And do you so. folks recall if there was ever a traffic signal there? No. No, no. it was... Just, that was no. that was his job, I think. Okay. Yeah. Mr. McGuire was cross us over. He was he was it. He was, yeah. it. He was, it. <laughs> he was yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> so that was very special to me because I remember that's where we had so much respect for the Minuteman because mm. Captain Parker statue and and the common. And you the mentioned common. the common. You have yeah. a lot of respect for the common. Well, yes. we never would walk on it. That's you wouldn't even. I walk think a on lot it. of that came from the Hancock School because it seemed to. Um, a lot of people don't have the same feeling, but we just had so much respect. And I don't know if it was from the teachers that said, you just don't walk on right, the common. Right. 
but now I know they love to have well, picnics, and that's the way it should yeah. be. I, you know, I'm just telling you how what I remember. Sure, right. Yeah. Sure. It was very. Do you remember the Patriots yeah. Day celebration? Oh, oh absolutely. did you march in the we morning saved parade? Our nickels from <laughs> the year to the next year. <laughs> <laughs> candy man. <laughs> Highlight of the year, right? Yes. Yeah. That was big time. Did you Perhaps. march in did the parade as Girl yeah. Scouts? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. You did as a Girl Scout. Or a brownie. I was a Girl or Scout. I remember school. carrying the flag. I think no. just from, would it be from the oh, Monroe my, School? My sister oh, okay. Kay was okay. uh, right. active and yeah. she marched in the parade. Okay. It's a Girl Scout. Okay. Yeah. Well, you mentioned what? teachers at, at Hancock, oh. and you mentioned a Miss Noise, a Miss oh. Blodgett, oh, Miss yes. White, and Miss Anderson. Yes. So you, oh, Miss Anderson was junior, junior high. high school. Oh, that was in middle, yeah. or junior yeah. high, yeah. Right, yeah. at Muzzy. We'll get to that in, in a few <laughs> minutes. <laughs> um, okay. Miss Noyes was a wonderful teacher. Oh, was she? Mm -hmm. And I, I just really, uh, she loved poetry, and I think she instilled it in me oh. because I just, to this day, mm -hmm. love reading and anything to do with poetry. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what good, good teachers do. Oh, oh she yeah. definitely. Poems, oh, Winnie the, the Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm wondering if Peter's mother had any of those teachers too, she because she, 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 oh, she was one, she or was, his uncle or his other yeah. his aunt. She was a wonderful 20s. teacher, and right. Miss White was. Um, she was she was fourth grade, and I remember she kind of it was social studies. She brought it alive because we did a lot of artwork, and mm -hmm. she was a little livelier and. <laughs> Probably so with, in, she might have been a little younger, yeah. maybe. In too. those days, okay. your your teacher taught you art, oh, and reading, exactly. and English, and yeah. writing, and, math. and mm -hmm. music, and math. Yeah, you're right. Everything Basics. was from the single yeah. teacher. Yeah. Yeah. I remember studying Egypt and doing uh, a big thing with chalk you know, on the Nile oh, River. So okay. you know, yeah. Things Do you that recall stick in your having um, uh, uh, up on the third floor? There was an auditorium. Yeah. And we mm -hmm. used to do plays. Plays. He yeah. went to him. Christmas plays. <laughs> oh, that's In those right. days. Yeah. But yeah. there was always a, an event in the spring, like sort of around, I guess, graduation. The, May the Maypole? No, no, this no. was in the auditorium. Oh, upstairs. We used to uh, gather, at least in the 50s and when mm -hmm. I was going there. But I would imagine if there were seven siblings all in the age group, the first, your eldest passed. Uh, May Baskin, or May, yeah. was born in 1912. Well, she died at 100 plus six months. Oh, really? Is that Good. right? Good. Yeah. Now, how many, just a few years ago, three or four? Yes. Or has it been even? Just, just about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yes, okay. she was born in 1912. Wow. It would have been 2012. Right. <laughs> there must have been a time when it Do was a little three. math. I know. Yeah, there's some math. <laughs> there, it, but at the time, there must have been at least three or four of you that all went together Walk together well, down Hank, I, Hancock yeah. Street to the school. Yeah. Did My you have friends you picked up along the way? Well, they were ahead of us, so they weren't. We were mostly Hancock School. And mm. I should tell you about Mr. Gilmore and his electric car. I oh, well, go you. ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Tell us <laughs> about. Mr. Gilmore lived at the corner of um, Hancock and, and Adams, and he had that beautiful estate there. Oh, yes. is he the one, da the Dave, Dave Maynard Maynard's estate? Yes. And then later, Henry Louis Gates lived there. Yes. Yeah. Right, with the big front yes. lawn. That's and where then Mr. He Gilmore had his putting green on the front lawn. <laughs> he had a putting green. And, but anyway, he had a little electric car and a, a chauffeur by the name of Mr. Johnson who lived on North Street. So if Ruthie and I were on our way to school down Hancock Street, Mr. Johnson would stop and give us a ride in the electric car. <laughs> <laughs> you were way now, ahead was of that, Was that yeah. to middle or to junior high, or was that to elementary, to elementary school? Yeah. Were you? Oh, to the Hancock school. To, Han to Hancock, Hancock school. right, right, yeah. Yeah. okay, okay. Oh, the, the car wasn't that big. It would <laughs> <laughs> but you walk um, to school we in the winter time. cars today. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, right. Now they're back, yeah. Right. Do you yeah, have right. a... And you walked winters. Uh, we used to listen for that whistle that would blow. Oh, I remember that <laughs> as a kid. No yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no school whistle. That was yeah. a great two, sound two, to hear. Two, yeah. Three right. toots, three times. That's right, right. that's right. right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, I did want to go back to Hancock School. Yeah. We had a Miss Blodgett I mm -hmm. had in the second grade 
that used to bring her little canary to school. Yeah. And I think that was a lovely memory for someone uh -huh. to have. Sure. She'd bring the canary and the canary be singing. And when that, if you came in a little bit early, she would be having her little bath and mm -hmm. she would spend <laughs> the day. And I can't remember if it was just maybe once a week or she brought uh -huh. her every day. You but could just I, picture it there, though. Right. Did, did yeah. she let so, it out of the cage? No, it was in the no. cage. But no. but I thought of for early, early childhood. Yeah. What a yeah. nice memory yeah. because yeah. it's you know a singing canary. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> sure. And then sure. she had a little, I don't know what year car it would be, but I remember it's fascinated. It had a shade in the back. Oh really? Oh. You know, it was cool like, it down. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. know what yeah. it yeah. was, yeah. but the sun out. Do you um, just. Interesting. <clears throat> what memories do you folks have about Lexington in the 20s up until the Depression or the, the stock market crash in 1929? I know you yeah. were perhaps young, and then there was the Depression years, right. the difficult years, and then of course the war years. Right. And I think one of you mentioned that you had uh, food, uh, food I stamps or food. Them with me. It, right. Right. I don't, ha I don't okay. have them here. Okay. <clears throat> but what can you tell us about the years in Lexington? during the 30s and the 40s? Oh, well, well looking back, I, we didn't realize what a good life we had, because <laughs> we had acres to play in, that's what I remember mostly, playing outside, mm -hmm. you know, the hide-and-go-seek. Right. And there were so many buildings, you know, the sheds and outbuildings, and mm -hmm. so many places to hide that it was <laughs> fun. So you're, you backed up to Merriam Hill. Yes. So, yes. and that wasn't developed at when you were little, or most of it wasn't. My whole life yeah. was all woods. It was all woods, so, like yes. Woodland Road. We and played Woodland in the woods Road, a yeah. lot. I mean, okay. the treasure hunts in the woods. Oh, and There was some yeah. tree houses or anything like well, that? Jim yeah. Wilson used to yeah. build us tree houses. <laughs> okay, now this is a different one. different Jim Wilson than the Wilson Farms that yeah, we know today. It was yeah. Your, yeah. See, the, the Wilsons and the Matthew Porters Wilson's right. were, were whole di right. different yeah. than the Wilsons well, The Wilsons were next door to us in what we call the cottage. Oh, the little house? So we were all, you always had tons of people to play with. So we were, okay, you always <laughs> had always, somebody right. more yeah. or less brought up together with the Wilsons. Uh -huh. So going, playing, you used to go up to Merriam Hill. Did you ever go all the way up to Granny Pond? No, we, oh, no, we no, skated Granny, in Granny Pond. Just, you yeah. skated yeah. on yeah. Granny Pond? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there okay. were big mansions around Granny Pond. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. there <laughs> still are. There's well, still I remember there. Mrs. Blake would come out. Mrs. Blake. Chase oh. us off the ice if oh. she felt it wasn't safe, but let us stay if it was uh -huh. But she was a nice lady. She, she was, very, yes. yes. Right. In later days, and I remember on, in, at Hancock School, they would announce, see, uh, they would say, there will be, uh, Granny Pond is safe to skate today. Oh. Oh. I just have that one yeah, memory, yeah. It, and I think they had like a speaker and they'd come over because it was rather dangerous. Sure. But that was a beautiful, a beautiful I have wonderful song. memories of that. Yeah, yeah. And, and your you feet would be numb. <laughs> 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 and you remember the Hayes Estate that was up there too then? That Hayes. The, well, the Hayes the, Estate was the, where the Blakes lived. Castle. Oh, the, oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, yeah. I mostly you remember, remember the Blake, Blake Estate because of the Blake Estate. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 The one that lived in the car. Um, Never really right. knew Mrs. Right. Blake. No, but respected you know, the right. fact that she owned it and was she nice. She was always dressed yeah. really nicely yeah, when she and came yeah. out. She the fact that she let coat. you skate beautiful there. Beautiful mink coat. <laughs> you know, I yeah. think you really that appreciated nice that so much. Nice lady. Yeah. What, can you re what do you remember about the Chiesa family? Lived across the street from you mm -hmm. in the Chiesa Lingo farm. Chiesa yeah. farm, Junior. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was a good... I sort of across the street we would play. We mm -hmm. never ventured too far into their home. But okay. uh, he told me one time that he was sent to a military academy because of all the girls across the street. Oh, <laughs> because of all the girls across the street? <laughs> oh, oh, he, he schooled no, he, he told me to a boarding crush school. on my sister James. Now this was... Uh, John Chiesa, who just passed away. Yes. A couple, yes. This yes. was him or his father? No, it's Junior. Oh, Junior. Yeah. Okay. John Chiesa. Yeah. Okay. He would be roughly our age. Yes, that's right. right. And, and he had a sister. beautiful car barn. It was oh, that's so a beautiful clean, that barn. barn now. Yeah. 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 Early morning hours, we could hear the trucks come in 
and pick up the big uh, containers of the milk going. So it was a dairy farm then, is that right? Yes. yes. Okay. Mostly the cows. Most, mostly cows. Yes. Mostly the dairy farm. And Junior had a pony, and he would let us ride on his pony. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did you I, have any? Um, I remember bringing over cucumbers from my mother would send cucumbers over to Mrs. Chiesa. Ah, and, okay. Oh, um, you know, just going to the outside of that door, that was a beautiful home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it still is a beautiful but you, home. But you weren't yeah. in and out of each other's homes yeah. that much. No, not you know. maybe as much yeah. as today. Yeah. Well, um, she didn't yeah. speak English, for one thing. And oh. there was an aunt. Oh, okay. There were the mother and sister, uh, the aunt, one of them didn't speak English at all. Oh, think. okay. So that okay. was part of it, but they were always nice, nice people. Good yeah. neighbors, good, good neighbors. neighbors. Yep. Right, right. Well, since we're back to there, um, I'd like to talk a little about the farm. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to hear, because a lot of people in town who have been here a long time might remember the greenhouses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your family bought it in, bought the land, 30 acres was 30 it? 30 plus acres, yeah. 30 plus acres in 1920. Two? No, they bought it before that. When oh. they left Lexington, they moved to Russell Street in Woburn. Oh. And they bought the farm when they were there. And they used to go back by horse and wagon, I guess, from Russell Street to Adams Street. And then when the cottage, as we call it, became available, the Wilsons moved into that. And our home on 39 Adams Street was not up for sale. But when it was available, my father bought it, and oh. I was a year old when they moved there in 1924. So that's oh, where we okay. start. <laughs> okay, okay. And did they have, they didn't have greenhouses in the beginning there. No, then. if you can see some of the pictures that well, show. Well, here, here's a good picture of the greenhouses. And this says this photograph was taken in 1945. Mm -hmm. And again, for our viewers, this is at the corner of Adams and uh, East, East right. where the Fisk Common condominiums are oh, now. Right, and Fisk oh, School. Awesome. And Fisk School, too. Yeah. But the, the, these were pretty much on where the condos are, and then back here was where the school became, was right. built there was later. 13. Oh, yeah. 13 Green greenhouses. greenhouses? Yeah. And you said something about they came from Belmont? How yes, did we it? understood they were bought in That's Belmont, right. bought dismantled, in Belmont. Okay. transported to East and Adams, and okay. rebuilt. And That's I cannot imagine. And here's another yeah. photograph of the that was when they were really what they call market gardens. Okay. And then the produce was trucked to Boston for right. sale. So, so was this before the greenhouses? Before the greenhouses. Before the greenhouses. Were ever built. Before okay. cars. House okay. and wagons. They had horses. Okay. Right. Yep. Okay. So this is maybe We're, your father in the picture, that, or that is our father, right? It there. is your father. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So they used. And the also, board. that's his brother John, Porter Brothers. Oh, right. okay. Right. Yeah, and I'm just Matt looking. Wilson at, is on the horse. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, and this says it was taken in the 30s, and these are the celery fields. So this is where the greenhouses were put later. No, the greenhouses are more towards the street. To oh, okay. This would be where the school oh, where playground the school. is. Oh, right. okay. That would be the okay. Playground okay. Yeah. All right. right. And that okay. celery had to be put underground yeah. to keep it from turning green. Ah. Oh. Okay. When they took it to Fanner Hall, if there was any green on that celery, First uh -huh. National would not they, buy it. They really. So that was a big job to bank all that. Sure. Prevent the sun and then put it down underground in celery pits. Right. Yeah, I never knew anything about that. In fact, I just heard that a while ago about uh -huh. the bleaching. I thought that was so interesting. Yeah, uh -huh. And now, <laughs> it's the opposite of all the green. You don't right. get bleached. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They had to um, bank it with the soil, and then they used to put these humongous big planks on top of it. A lot, of, a lot of hard labor. And did you labor. girls help doing any of this labor <laughs> or? No. Well, they did probably much. a little more sometimes to help so, out. I would bit. go down just to get vegetables and bring home okay. my mother would send me. But mm -hmm. I didn't do more of the labor. But, but Okay, it, so it inside the greenhouses you only grew, you just said a few minutes ago, tomatoes and cucumbers. Right. And then all yes. the other things were Outside. So there was a lot for the produce. Yeah. Celery oh. was a big one. Yeah. And carrots was another big one. And carrots. Okay. 
But okay. there was market it's all finished. winter long for the produce that was being grown in the greenhouse. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Right, right. Now, okay. one of you mentioned something about between growing the cucumbers and the tomatoes, they had to fumigate? Yes. Yes, Can you tell, can you tell us? Sterilize. Like the greenhouse itself. Oh. If you have an incoming crop, because it has to be clean, you can't have bugs and germs. And oh, okay. So, okay. so they only the grew one thing at a time in each greenhouse. They would alternate. One, it would be tomatoes. Okay. okay. Then they would clean out the greenhouses, and then it would be cucumbers. Mm, okay. And uh, there was something was about... run by coal. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Tell in us. the early years, and we had a night watchman living up in our attic, and his name was John McKenna. He was very good. So Mom already had all our kids. She had him plus. <laughs> oh, so he was like a handyman. He, and well, he would be down at the boiler the house okay. in the nighttime uh -huh. to refresh but he was shovel, part of shovel the family. coal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and he shoveled the coal to keep yeah, the you had greenhouses to keep them going. Warm. Right. And did you heat the house? Nice, nice the man. Uh -huh. He'd give me pennies on. Friday when we do our banking, oh. and I'd get extra money to go to the candy store. Oh, so that was special. That's my memory. <laughs> what candy store do we all go to? I called it Miss Robinson's, okay. but I think it was then the Minuteman little gift shop on Waltham Street. On, on Waltham, Waltham Street. Street. And okay. I remember Miss Robinson, I thought she was old, but maybe she wasn't that old, but <laughs> I just remember, I thought she had white hair, oh. and it was wonderful. She had a little counter, and... You might buy um, maybe five. I think if you spent a nickel, you could get an extra piece for a penny mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. My memory's a little dim on that. <laughs> but I just remember, and she had lovely little uh, gifts. Do you and remember that, Peter? No, I do not. Yeah, I remember I, I the Smith's Paper like, Store had penny yeah. candy. That where, was where Lions there. Places Is that now? what you remember? Lions. Smith's Paper Store, Helen? That's where we were and for Smith. candy. Oh. Smith's Paper Store. Yeah, okay. then oh, when we were talking. And the, gla uh, the, the glass okay. cabinets with all the penny, penny candy, candy behind. Yeah. yeah. Oops. I do have a picture of Smith's Paper Store, but it's not when Smith's was there. It was when Foster's took it Foster's. over, but it's the same building, yeah. and it's, oh, no, yeah. it's no longer there. It's it been not. torn down. But it's, it's, I remember the Smith's it's Paper it's Store, same. too. But <laughs> right, no. But no. I must have just gone on Fridays to Miss Robinson's. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, that and they had it ice was cream Kenny Smith. <laughs> Kenny Smith? Well, my friend Patty McGuire, that would be Ned's daughter, Okay. We'd go for ice creams, and sometimes Patty would always say, I'd like a glass of water. And they, it got to be a little joke. They'd tell the water was turned off. You know, <laughs> they, they didn't want her bothering them anymore. was <laughs> always demanding ice cream, uh, water. Well, how about, uh, I, speaking of ice cream stores, you folks remember Durant's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I got a picture the of Durant's. The baby Sundays. Like breaking the, uh, breaking no, the path well. here. <laughs> She's oh got God. it all laid out. I might have yeah. jumped the gun, but yeah. I like ice cream. So. I that do was have a good picture. hangout place. Yep, uh, and it was there when place we were in my kids. day too. Yes, yeah. when we were kids. There it is. Butterscotch Sundays. <laughs> yes, oh. a baby one. I think <laughs> the baby ones were a little less money. Yeah. I think yeah. maybe like I forget what they twenty. Used to, children's size. Twenty cents. We used to call them uh -huh. vanilla fudge marshes. Yeah. Yeah. We had vanilla yeah. ice cream fudge Durant's. sauce and marshmallow on top, and, yeah. and of course a cherry. Oh uh, yeah. And Duran's is where Michelson's is today. For those yeah. of you oh. that don't remember Duran's, Michelson's shoe store. And that's is a right. wonderful. Been, Michelson's is a great Michelson's shoe is a, store. It sure is. Bunch of loafers. <laughs> I was just in there the Frank other day. Oh yeah, Manzes and Julia oh, yeah. and 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 Selsa, yeah. Taylor, and, um, uh, Baker's, Julia um, uh, Selsa. I don't oh. recall. Oh, dry good. Oh, Mr. Michelson. Oh, Mr. Oh, Harold. Oh, Harold. Oh, Harold. Oh, Mr. Michelson. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. my mother talked about the grandfather. She had a lot she, of. She really liked the older man. He was a cop. That would be Harold's, father, Harold's then? father. Harold's father, I believe. Yeah, I don't remember him, but he. I guess well, he was I remember a my mother saying Mr. Michelson was a fine man. I well, do remember are. that. Yeah. And I remember getting patent lovers there. Uh, like Mary Jane's? <laughs> Mary Jane's. <laughs> and then I was able to buy them for my daughter, uh -huh. first pair. And then I bought my granddaughter's ballet slippers oh, there. And that's wow. my it's generation. So, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That's the kind it's of work in the Michaelsons do. Is yeah. that yeah. the 1919s, yeah. probably? So, yes, okay. 1919. So he's okay. coming up to 100 years. Yeah, anniversary. so that would be the grandfather. Yeah, that yeah. Right. My mother remembered. Yeah. Right. He was elk. Right. 
Okay, we, I definitely want to get into the center, um, yeah. but in a minute. I want to finish up with the farm itself yeah. first. So you owned it until after World War II, your brother, Buddy, and one of the Will, which was a Jim yeah, Wilson, Jim Wilson. Was, they mm -hmm. bought it and they ran it themselves, with, yes. you know, with help, I mean. Right. And then um, when did they sell it and who did they sell it to? Um, they Johnson. sold it to Johnson's? So Johnson Rose Company. Roses. And when Rose. was that, then, in the 40s? 1972. I think, so, oh. is it 72? Oh. Yeah. Well, okay, the town had oh. already taken over or bought the your outdoor garden where Fisk School is today. Right. That's right. Because that was built in 48, I think. That's the right. first Fisk, not that's the one right. that's there now. It was built in 48. So they sold that to the town, that land, but they kept the that greenhouses the first sale. a little longer. Yeah. And then they, your your brother and Jim Wilson eventually sold it to the Johnsons, Johnson's and they ran, roses. Um, it was roses. a ro they roses. grew roses. Right. And Johnson Brothers there, right. uh, oh. from Woburn. Yeah. And they oh. ran it from yeah. 72 to 78 mm -hmm. okay. and mm -hmm. sold it to Mark Moore and he took out the That's greenhouses right. and oh, put okay. the condos in. Right. Okay, the, yeah, the yeah. Fisk, right. Fisk condos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay. Is there anything else about the farm, any other memories you want to speak of before we go on to the center of Lexington? Well, I was thinking the other day about the wonderful, we had peach trees on that land, oh. there were blackberries. Hazelnuts. And, you know, so many wonderful things yes, like that we, we that we a, enjoyed. It wasn't the actual doing the hard yeah. labor of the farm. Right. But living in that area, it was just wonderful. Always had animals. We had a beautiful orchard, too, uh -huh. with peaches and apples. And mm. did, nice. you mark, did you market the, the tree fruit? No, no, no. We, just, we could just go pick oh, a pear tree. Pear trees, yes, you have pear trees. And fun. just go for pick a blackberry, you know what right. I mean? Or uh -huh. raspberries. Right. Uh -huh. but that's right. How about strawberries? Right. Strawberries are good. No, strawberries. no, I don't remember ever having, that would be more something that they would have planted, and yeah, these the were ground. just kind of there. <laughs> and how about blueberries? I bush oh. blueberries like across mm, the street. Not there. Do you remember the reddicks? Across the street. Right across the street, yes. I had the yeah. blueberry patches. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now something but, was said about May. Um, she was the first. She was the oldest, so she was the first to get her license. Mm -hmm. yes. And she used to go pick up employees somewhere yes. to bring yes. them to the yes, farm. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. Ladies she was from Italy, just and they worked ladies? on the farm. She was just oh, 16 women, yeah. years old when she got her license. Okay. And she would drive to Waltham and pick up these Italian women. Oh. Who transported worked on the farm and they were brought home again at night. Oh. And they were the ones that did a lot of the weeding and cultivating and That's hoeing. Mm -hmm. And so they depended on them. That was the only way they could get there. Otherwise yeah. they'd have to go, go oh. by bus that and streetcar. Right. Right. And right. Uh, she yeah. did whatever, also May did whatever bookkeeping there was at that time. She mm -hmm. took over that. She, oh. she was very good with she was very figures good with and figures. Uh -huh. accounting. And, uh, and, uh, so. Okay. Naturally. Okay. So. <laughs> um, okay, a couple of other little notes I have here. Um, you used to play with paper dolls, board games, but you had each other and the yeah, seven of always, you. Always, plus all, the Wilsons. Always, plus <laughs> the Wilsons. Always had plenty of people to play with. <laughs> yeah, and you yeah. used to play a game called two door, four door? <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> two door, four door. You'd I think it would be considered d pretty dull today. <laughs> <laughs> it was a you have four to really You would be like Nan would be sitting there, and there was somebody would be on the stone the wall on the stone wall in front of yeah. your house. Yeah, in front of the house on the, the stone house. wall. And yeah. It had to be a hot summer day. I can <laughs> picture it. <laughs> each one, each person in would offer a forfeit. You had a, a button or a locket or something. And the person in charge would hold that particular locket over her head, and she would say, a forfeit, a forfeit, a very fine forfeit. What shall the owner do to redeem it? And then she would say, they have to get up and do a dance, or they have to get up and sing a song, or they have to, anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so funny. we used to play that in the big country kitchen while the adults would be at the dining table. Uh -huh. And it would be like a weekend, a Sunday, yeah. or a Saturday. Fun. And we just gather in the kitchen and yep. play. And then, and then the two door, four door was you'd count yeah. which cars went by that had two doors and right. which had four doors. And whoever went for the two door, uh -huh. you won. 
Oh, you if know, you got more two doors than right, one. Right, you were the winner. <laughs> <laughs> we waited a long time for a car. Yeah. <laughs> Which made uh, me think just now of something. My father, maybe this goes a little ahead, but he always bought a black Ford. Hmm. And I've said to my children, it was so funny because now, this, when you go to buy a car, it's such a big deal, you know, you research everything. And I just remember every couple of years, Joe Parks would drive, it would be, uh, you know, a used car probably, mm -hmm. a black Ford, and that would be our mm -hmm. car. Mm -hmm. But we were lucky to have a car because mm -hmm. most people didn't have a mm -hmm. car then. Mm -hmm. They got along but, by with their feet. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You don't recall the um, trolley cars going through Lexington, do you? They ended no, in the twenty something. No, I, I don't. Do you remember that, yeah. Helen? No, <clears throat> no, the trolley cars. No, I think they but ended this, in the 20s. Yeah, but what what was it that went to the farm? That's what I could never figure out. The Bell Farm. Wasn't there like a little oh. trolley that took people to the Bell Farm? Or? The Bell Farm was what out by uh, one twenty North, North kind of next North Lexington. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. actually, I've got a picture know. of that here, too. Yeah. Um, Smith's Bell Farm Store. It yeah. was right, I think, I don't remember, it was before my time, but right where 128 and yes. Bedford Street yes. are. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, um, so yeah. there's a picture of the Bell Farm. Yeah. Do, now, do you remember that? Yes. I oh, vaguely sure. remember we seeing the animals. And I remember the cats, them. especially. Uh -huh. Okay. And they but sold that ice That goes cream. way back, and I don't okay. know what year that would be, but... Well, May yeah. would drive us up to get ice cream on a ah. special treat. Okay, okay. <laughs> but it was a special treat. Uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Do you ladies recall going to Buttrix? Yeah. I uh, worked the at ice cream Buttrix. stand. You worked <laughs> at Buttrix. Okay. My, my, on two-way? Uh, no, it was the uh, summer of 47 when I graduated from high school. Okay. whole group of us, all, a lot of my friends worked there, and that was great. And we kept that place immaculate, I've told more people. Every now, time you'd get a spot on your uniform, right into the, you know, they sent everything right yeah. out. Very different. <laughs> and we had to scrub those counters down before you left. And where was yeah. this? Which bet Well, it, it seemed to me it was up off of 128 in that area. Yeah, it was actually two, in Lincoln. 2A. 2A, two 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 a a a on the way to Concord. Yeah. 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 Okay. Turned into a big bird yeah. place or something. A bird place? After thing? Patrick's left. I thought they tore, because that's it tore down. Down. Yeah. Yeah. When yeah. the National Park bought it in the 60s, I yeah. think, I they think tore it down. Yeah. Yeah. There used to be Swanson's right. Pontiac up yeah. there, oh, a deal, a car dealership. And before they put the airport road in, they used to have the other entrance. But Mill Street had a a restaurant there, and then there was the Fairway restaurant. The Fairway, uh, yeah, the yeah. Fairway, yeah. Further up, and then of course you can and all the remember kitchen. the kitchen, yeah, the Willow <laughs> Kitchen, Willow yeah. Pond, yeah. Kitchen. Willow Pond <laughs> Kitchen. Yeah, everybody knows famous. the kitchen. This um, <laughs> yeah. this Bell Farms became Buttrix. They moved when they put one twenty eight in. I guess is when it happened. They moved it up to to two A that yes. we're speaking of yeah. where you worked. And it became Buttrix at that point. But it's, oh. it was the same owners, same pipe. Oh. Yeah. Yep. And there was an ice cream store so, at Five Forks. Do you guys remember uh, at Merritt Road in Lincoln Street? If you left Lexington Center, you went up yeah, Lincoln I know. Street, I live in that you got area. to Five Forks before yeah, you headed out to Lincoln. Yeah. There was an ice cream store there, mm -hmm. uh, and they only ran it in the summer. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go back to the center for a minute, yeah. and because you all mentioned a number of different stores mm. that you remember from growing up. And you didn't go into the center a lot as young children. Not really you, young. Not in elementary no, school not in that elementary much. We Maybe. just went home. Okay, no. you went yeah, home. Pretty much from school you by, went by home. By the junior yeah. high. Yeah. And so as teen years, yeah. we were there. Tell yeah. us about Jackie Ray. Who <laughs> remembers him? Yeah, <laughs> which is now is theater pharmacy theater right pharmacy. next to the theater. Well, he was still and a at that time, it was Jackie got, Ray's drugstore. Uh, okay. Jackie did not was not a pharmacist, so he had Mr. Veneer was the pharmacist for Jackie Ray's, and it was a place where the not our age but like Buddy, my brother Buddy and his friends they used to hang. That was a hangout place. Okay, and he had a soda fountain. You could we used to Is get. Is that what you coats. remember? Is the soda fountain with yes. marble? Yes, it was a marble. A soda marble. Much. You don't wow. get. Today. Yeah, <laughs> probably where his cards are now. All the greeting uh -huh. cards. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, but that was 
So you remember that? You remember that? the movie theater? Did you ladies oh, ever go to movies at the yeah. movie theater? How much did no, it cost to see it? Once in a while. <laughs> oh, that might have been a lot. I think it was 10 what, yeah. what movie sta stands out the most in your memory that you, you saw? Well, the, the only time I would go in elementary school, Shirley pretty, Temple. Shirley Temple. Okay, uh -huh. sure, yeah. that was bad. But then in junior high, we'd go, and I remember my father wasn't happy because sometimes I would go on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. And he really wasn't, he didn't say you can't go, but all my friends, <laughs> we all went on Sunday afternoon. Okay. Yeah. That's well, in Strip junior Baptist. high. <laughs> and I remember the way back in elementary school, there was a woman who played an organ the before the, oh, uh, wow. really? before yeah, the movie. To entertain you <laughs> while yeah. you were waiting. While you were waiting. <laughs> yeah. uh, trainees, it was a liquor store when, I, when we were growing up, but one of you mentioned it used to sell fruit. Yes, it was a fruit mm -hmm. store there. It was yeah, a fruit store. And then he Andon's added store liquor. store was right around the corner. Which, which one? Andon's. Oh, I don't remember that. Is okay. that a depot or at the Grain Mill Alley? Greenville Alley. My father worked in that grain mill. That yeah. Mill. yeah. So well, yeah. we got when a picture of When he first came that. to Lexington at 17 years of age, he worked in that grain mill. Yeah, so which was right. grain mill. Yep. Yeah. Is that you remember that then? Yes. Yes, it we, went down in the thirties sometime. Okay. That. But he lived uh, rented a room on he Mass did. Avenue right across who, who from did? the post office. Yeah. Who did? And that my father. Oh your father. Oh. And that's when he was working at the grain mill. Oh so okay. when he came right. your, it was your father that came over. They both came over. Your father and mother, were they together at that time? No. 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 So okay. they met in Lexington? They, or uh, actually, uh, they met in Winchester. In Melbourne, probably. My aunt, uh, which a lot of these uh, immigrant women worked as maids and cooks in the Winchester houses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so formed a company, these <laughs> co owners, you would meet and yeah. greet each other, and that's how they met. Oh, and one right. of those, my aunt was a cook for Beggs and Cobbs way back then. Mm -hmm. and, hmm. You know, they formed their own community. Sure. Right, right. Sure. And that's where they met. Okay. Yeah. Um, I remember together. hearing that the farmers would, this is a little later, go to Woburn on Saturday night oh, because yes. They, a lot of them were farmers, and they'd okay. meet and chat, okay, sure. you know, yeah. which is Bar very... Talk, shop talk. Right. You know, talk about how their maybe business was going. Well, the maybe was that's like. where the dance hall was. <laughs> the barn park. Who knows? They dancers. I just heard they, were, they would gather there because they were people, <laughs> same interests, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. Exactly. Became Common a, so, interest, a little yeah. bit yeah. of a social thing. Our father came over. It was 1907 when he came over. Oh, 1907. And I had them on off the internet. And he was <coughs> 27, he had $15 in his pocket, and he was a farmer, and he was going to stay with his uncle Alec. So you had to have all that information. So there was family going. here already okay. for him. So, well, yeah. I think you had to have someone speak for you, right. too. Yeah. Sponsor your, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Sponsor you had to have you. a place to go. Correct. Well, see, Uncle Alec okay. probably sponsored him. Did he come in to Boston or Ellis from New Island. York? Oh, Ellis Island, okay. Yeah, so. I had a picture of the ship was a Caledonia uh -huh. that he came on. But we couldn't find yeah. anything on my yes, mother coming Uncle in. Uncle so Alec and Maybe Lincoln she can go into Ellis Island. Yeah. Oh, he had greenhouses too. Yes, and he sponsored the boys. They worked for him, uh -huh. and then he got them jobs in other places. Mm. So they took care of each other, really. Yeah. Okay, I think we need to move on. We don't want to, there's a lot we still have to cover. <laughs> uh, the center, though, you A lot of years. Good Do years. Doran, uh, Durans and Tiviages and the, bo the bowling alley and Partridges and the yes. movie theater. Yes, used to get day-old uh, donuts there. Day-old donuts where? Partridges? Day-old donuts and go to the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Instead of popcorn, you eat donuts. <laughs> um, okay, moving along to middle school and high school, or junior high. And that was in Muzzy. Both of them, you yes. stayed for yes. six years then yes. at Muzzy. And you didn't walk home for lunch at that point, right? No, no you, stayed, no, you stayed. stayed. Okay. And Helen, you remember how many graduated with you? 165, and that included Burlington and Bedford. Okay, yes, we knew that the two other towns. Yeah. Now, okay, somebody mentioned scarlet fever. Do you yes, remember yes. that as a child at school? We were quarantined for a long time. Because we all had it. And mm -hmm. I remember I had it. 
but I couldn't go back to school. And so they sent me down on Lowell Street to my father's uncle and aunt. Oh. And I stayed there with Buddy at the same time. He and I stayed there. And then we had to go from there. I went to Goodwin's on Coolidge Avenue before I could go back to school. Really? And I remember the bath they gave me, I thought go, it was going to oh. be scalded. Oh, hot to get rid of the germs yeah. or something. But the whole house was quarantined. I remember something about a tag on your, on your, put oh, on your yeah. door. And I was oh, wondering yeah. if I remember my mother telling me about that. You know, sometimes it's hard to remember. Yeah. yeah. But, but how did Mom escape not but getting it? I think yeah. for my mother, I do remember her saying, how difficult it was because she couldn't go out. She was in, in, in. Yeah, yeah. Know, talk about and being, you know, confined for a long sure. time. There was some talk about yeah. burning books. Yeah, and you had I brought that. Figure. You remember that? I, well, I, don't I remember being told that that when if you had scarlet fever, at that time they would take whatever your books in your desk and they would burn them. But I wow. not don't quote me on that. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, pretty sure that I had heard that from someone. Yeah, that's yeah. interesting. Well, because okay. that might be their way of dealing with the germs. Yeah, uh, you sure. Know, what, to get about that. what year yeah. would this yeah, uh, scarlet fever? Thir early thirties, I can remember, because okay. when I was down on Lowell Street, it was the time of the Lindbergh kidnapping, oh. and this aunt and oh, uncle so were elderly because they were my father's aunt. And she would have the radio on, and oh, I just couldn't imagine what. Imagine it could how be. frightening yeah. that was yeah. for her, course, not being in your own home, right. and, and the fear of scarlet fever, and then hearing yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. That that's was a lot to deal traumatic. with. Traumatic as a, as a <laughs> yeah. young child. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, in junior high and high school, you were all involved in sports, pretty much. Yes. yes. Um, that was where your interests, not music, but sports, sports. Uh, field yeah. hockey, golf, that sort of thing, basketball? Yes. Or field hockey. Field hockey. Field hockey. They used to hockey. walk from the school I was and more, I was field not, to play. I did oh. intramural, mm -hmm. but I was never on teams. The way. They were okay. very good hockey okay. players. Okay. But I was in, uh, I loved chorus, and oh. I loved uh, Mrs. Sandberg of the music. Uh -huh. Teacher, okay, and I was in the Mikado. Remember when they did the Mikado yeah. many years ago? What fun! That was more my interest. That was your but, interest, yeah. right? Yeah. And those but a of lot you of good memories in sports, though this this they, was a surprise to me. You mentioned Miss Levitt. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I remember her for Jim. Yeah. Well, yeah. she must have been really young. She, she was. was. <laughs> oh, whoa. Peter and I graduated from from Lexington <laughs> I, I High was, School yeah, in '67, she and she was my gym teacher then. Yeah. 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 She was. Well, I wonder how young. long was she there after you? Probably not too long. <laughs> <laughs> but she she spanned. I just 30 remember years the awful yes. gi the gym suits with the bloomers. Yes, yeah, the bloomers. <laughs> yeah. 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 Still have those. <laughs> no, I don't think they have those. <laughs> <laughs> the whole bloomers. Yeah, yeah, young girl. Oh, they still. I didn't like the bloomers. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, another note I have here is that you knew the the community center that Lexington has now that's up on the grounds of the museum. Yeah. Yes. Um, the, the mansion that's up there. You knew the family that lived in the mansion? Well, our sister Dottie oh, your taught sister. part with the Carter. I think it was uh, Charlie Carter. She had our Tenny Carter, one of them, okay. as a student. And Dottie taught right in Lexington. Oh, at Monroe. Monroe. Monroe School. Right. Yes, right. she went to Lowell Teachers College. Oh, okay. And. Uh, and taught and taught at Monroe. right in Monroe School for years. Okay, so you knew the Carters a little bit, but oh, well, <laughs> sort of knew uh, Charlie Carter because he was kind of around. Uh, I knew him. I worked with the Red Cross when I was very young, and he was in charge of it. But that's oh, yeah. oh, I knew. Okay. I remember okay. a Tenney Carter, but well, he was oh, the same family. But he must so. not. He must have gone to a private school because somehow I I knew of him. I could picture mm -hmm. him. But, but they all went in my high school class oh, and didn't graduate. Must have gone to I think they went yeah. off I think to a lot of school. people did then. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Okay. Well, the but I remember the my s were related. Oh. Dottie was invited, my sister Dottie, was, to lunch at the Carter Estate. Oh. <laughs> and I, being home at the time, remember her saying, Oh, I was invited oh. to lunch at the Carter Estate. <laughs> and that was very exciting. Sure. Because to a, 
Yeah, so two of the time. Yeah, that was those maid waiting for them. And a maid, maid yeah. you know, they had a maid waiting. Okay. On wow. Yeah, but I think special. that oh. that living room is just lovely. So, and so when I go there, I just, yeah. that sort of reminds well, me of her. Brings back memories. Being, it yeah. does. Yeah. 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 And now yeah. we're having our 70th reunion there, which I oh. think is very special. Terrific. When's that? At That's coming up pretty soon? In September yeah. 7th, yeah. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Congratulations to you. 70 years. Well, you hope we, to have it. We have our 50th coming up in September. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put some perspective on it. But it's a uh, nice place to have a reunion, I see. Oh, I think it's great. Oh, yes, yeah. you had, we had and 500 It'll be beautiful up there in September. Oh, and, oh and that's when terrific. When you stand outside yeah. that front door of the main building, uh -huh. The row of trees. I just think mm -hmm. that's such right, a beautiful, that's beautiful, beautiful yeah. place. That sounds God. exciting. Mm -hmm. yeah. That sounds great. <coughs> you also knew, <coughs> excuse me, the Willards from Willards Woods up on North Street. <coughs> yes. Helen you know that Edith more, Willard? Yes, Edith Willard. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she used to let us use her property for Sunday school picnics. Mm -hmm. And Ruthie and I just remembered sitting on the stone wall at Adams Street. We would see Miss Willard go by in her little pickup truck with a <laughs> big sack of hay in the back of the wall. So, so that's about the extent of we heard yeah. of Miss Willard. Your memory Willard. of Willards was that they farmed up there at the Willards Woods area up on North Street? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. And they lived in the house that's still yes, standing they lived where in that right. Harriet yes. and David yes. Hathaway yes. lived. Yes, today. that's the same right. house. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful home. But okay. I just remember having picnics there. That's yeah. my okay. Okay. memory. Okay. Well, it's, but you knew who she was and you'd see her. You knew yeah, I'd we knew who she was. And and then then seeing her. I don't remember right. that, you know, right. actually seeing her. But. <laughs> we also um, remember the Fisk sisters that oh, lived on yes, <laughs> you do. Oh, East Street. And they mm -hmm. used to have a bicycle shop in the dark. The women used to walk up and down Adams Street all, all the time. There's the Swiss Fisk sisters. So. Oh, Fisk that's sisters. where Fisk School <laughs> name yeah. came yeah. from. Yeah. Do you folks recall uh, the Bowser Estate on Grand oh, yeah. Street? Oh, yeah. 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 The trotting track? Right. That they had a the swimming family. pool. Oh, oh yeah. 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 that was big. You know, in those yeah. days, sure. oh, they were mm. like, yeah. the, it yeah. was like a plantation, that right. beautiful right. home. So, yeah. and your folks because there were many. many big homes. The house is still there. Growing up in Lexington. The house, yes, with the columns. Right. Yes. Beautiful. On, but but it was sand bottom. Has been built. It, wasn't, it was sand bottom. It was <laughs> what was sand bottom? <laughs> the pools, oh, pools, I remember. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. No, oh. Wasn't, yeah. no, but oh, no, okay. one, no okay. one we knew had He must have had a pool. pool. Yeah. Yeah, kind, probably yeah. man-made. Yeah. So where did you go <laughs> swimming? Did you get on up to the pits up Lex on North Street? <laughs> no, the Lexington would go down to the... Uh, yeah. The so we pull center. the center. Right. Right. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Begin with a sinker and a polywag right. and, and yeah. worked your way up to the whale. And then yeah. went to the big pool. <laughs> waders. Yeah. Right. I just started right. as a whale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what whale? Um, so okay. Bicycle. <laughs> what was the Fisk bike shop, Helen? Do you yeah. Mean? Was it on? Hmm? E was the Fisk bike shop the sisters had? Was it on? No, well, uh, the East men Street? had the bicycle. Oh, the men bike. had it. Okay. Um, uh, Cataldo's just developed that the Oh, state, yeah. The right, fisk, Todd yeah. Cataldo. Oh, yeah. Keela Farm, he calls it. Keela Farm, down on Yeah, Eastern. she was oh, a fisk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Keela was well, a fisk. That goes back a generation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, got we've got to, <laughs> we've got to move on, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I can't let this go by without talking about Ed Worthen, because a lot of our viewers, um, I'm sure, maybe oh, yeah. remember Ed Worthen. Now, you had, you remember him coming into the schools. Oh, absolutely. And what did he tell you? He wanted you to save your money, and they had little uh, books where you could buy stamps and pay for the stamps, and then and when you got a purple your stamp cost how much? They used to have <laughs> Probably red five and cents and oh, the purple stamp was 50 cents, I think. I think it was 50 or 25 <laughs> cents. <laughs> and you filled and up the book. Yeah, and, you and then you the got uh, put it in the bank book when you got a... Uh, I brought a copy of the you bank book. You have your book. bank book, and I must have left it but in the other room. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, he would, um, when you went into the bank, he wanted to know what, and you had an account, what you were going to do with your money. If you really <laughs> needed it, because, you know, it was better to save. You didn't save. want you wasting a lot of movies. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then he instituted the program where they went around to the schools. Each school was collected That's and brought to the bank mm -hmm. and posted. 
and taken care of. And then he had, uh, in the junior high, he, on the third floor, he set up a fake banking system where he would learn how to, you know, operate in the bank, or either mm -hmm. they were the tellers and the, and the customers. So he was definitely mm -hmm. um, introducing savings and backing savings and wanted the people to save you money. And also, he was a great historian of Lexington. Yes, yes he certainly so, was. There's a big collection yeah. at the library, yes, the Ed Worland right. collection. So yeah. do you think, because you eventually worked at the Lexington Savings Bank, isn't that right? Yes. So do you think it was Ed Worthen's influence that made you be interested in banking? And Because you started as a teller, and then how <laughs> far did you... <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I started at the bank because they needed somebody to run this banking system that they couldn't... Oh, at the schools? In yeah. the schools. I see. Oh. And so they had somebody go around and collect the money so I was a part-time job. My kids were in junior high. So I took the job of posting the money that came in from the different schools. Hmm. Well, eventually it became too costly and they decided that they could no longer afford to run this savings program. So then I would be out of a job if I didn't want to take a teller job. <laughs> so, <laughs> So you That's took the teller job. Yeah. Yeah. So you and, then, teller. and then you were there for 30 years or more? Yeah. And what, uh, you worked your way up to what she position? Sure did. <laughs> Come on uh, now, tell us. Uh, <laughs> what position did you well, eventually? It was customer service pretty much after um, customer service. I learned savings bank life insurance. I was licensed to sell savings bank oh. life insurance. Uh -huh. And then I became the branch manager when they opened the one on Wuben Street. Oh, okay. okay. And then I went back to the main office and took care of the personal records. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that, I went on to assist the president in different ways and became clerk of the corporation and then clerk of the directors when uh, they went public. And then eventually you were vice president yeah, of the well, bank. Yeah. Somewhere yes, she was. Like, yes, she was. Oh, you're being modest, Helen. Yeah. <laughs> so you must have worked there. Into she was very good with figures yeah, sure. and banking and right. knowledgeable. Until 88? Yeah. Okay. Okay. But well, that's, that's unusual for a woman to achieve those kinds of that, heights um, at, 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 that that time, time, yes. at that time. So you should be very proud of the, that. Yeah, so, she should be. And yeah. what, did, now you, what did you do after high school? Uh, you you went, joined the Marines. No, uh, that's that you? my sister. I, did. I went to work in you, Hancock okay. in Boston. Oh, John Hancock. Yeah. Okay. And then I went to the Marine Corps during the war. Oh, okay. For a couple of years. And then after the war, did, San you, go, Diego. did um, you go back? Did you go back to John Hancock yes. then after yeah. the war? Yeah. And did you take the trains from yeah. Lexington into Boston? Yeah, somewhere around seven o'clock in the morning. Is I can't uh -huh. really remember. Okay. But we used to walk and, down, get it. Kay Wilson worked there, so she and I would. Okay. <laughs> you you always yeah. had company. <laughs> right. And you um, became a teacher. And yes. you did your student teaching at Fisk, I understand. Yes. <laughs> I thought that Mr. Sukforth was the principal then. Uh -huh. And that was such a good experience, too. Mrs. Hoyt was my teacher. I, uh -huh. I'm trying to think. Bart Wilson was in my class. Oh, I yeah. remember some of the uh, children yeah. from there. Yeah, I know I'm Bart. trying to think of some of their names now. But, um, and then it, you, so you became a teacher, and then you taught I in, teach in, in, Arlington. in Arlington. I taught in Arlington. In Arlington. In Arlington. Oh, I taught in Bedford. Bedford too. and Arlington. Okay. And okay. one thing I did came into my memory, I was thinking about this. I remember Mr. Grindle oh. used to sometimes come around to the Lexington schools. He was a very quiet man, uh -huh. and he would come around. He was the superintendent in Lexington. Now, I must have been like six years old, because I remember sitting at my desk, and he would come in and he would just very quietly walk around, look at what you were doing. And we must have been doing something with phonics because I remember I was placing letters, say it, spelling cat. Maybe you have a C and an A. And I, I'll never forget this. I can still see him very quietly just coming in, 
putting the tea on the, you know, <laughs> so that I had a word. Yeah. In case yeah. you were in trouble. <laughs> I don't know, I think he just, that was his way of yeah. supervising. Yeah. Yeah. But he was such a quiet man, mm -hmm. I mean, he wasn't threatening at all. Right, right. But, hmm. um, no, well, you I, all had wonderful... Um, <laughs> I don't know if you remember Miss Adlington from Hancock School. Uh, Miss Adlington? Adlington? Oh, she was yeah. A, no, see, I don't <laughs> remember her. <laughs> Miss oh, Keith she was, the one I Keith. Oh, she was so I remember Miss Keith. I uh, how about Miss Mitchell? Oh, oh yes, I Ms. remember her. Yeah. got fourth grade fourth to my grade. mother and yeah. to me. She oh, used to give us a little. She's still there now. <laughs> <laughs> she had a little <laughs> cups of candy for us. Oh, wow. She gave her candy. candy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there is one other thing before we wrap up. Joe Rooney. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. you, a lot of our viewers, again, will, knew, knew Joe, Joe Rooney, and he dated one of your sisters, of course, before he married Helen. My sister Helen. Jean for a short uh, time. And I remember Jean. him going to the senior prom. Okay, and so. you knew him very well. He came to the house a lot. Because he would come to the house, and he would do for Mum whatever she wanted uh -huh. done. Yep. And he, I don't know, he, just, he was just he fun just to have around. Joe fun. Rooney he was a, a great person. guy. Good-spirited man. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Well. For his background, Our, he um, turned into just a wonderful man. My nice yes. memory. And he always had that lovely white cotton signature sweater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he, Immaculate. He, he, you can see it in the pictures. He was a lot of fun, too. Yeah. Yes, so, yeah. he, that's he, my memory. He was just fun. a happy person but around. He what I remember always is kidding so. my mother. He, okay. he kind of kid my mother. Uh -huh. but, uh, he was a nice, Catherine really Gibbs good school. person. And when I to took the train home at night, and Joe would be coming home from our house, and I'd be coming on yeah. from the train, and he would hide behind the trees on hand oh, yeah. <laughs> jump out at me, <laughs> swear the life out of me. That was Joe. <laughs> I had That's Joe. Joe. Um, he would tell a joke, and, and then he would go oh, into the house. That's a nice memory. Yeah, good, good voice. Okay, we have to wrap up. Okay. Okay. What do you want our viewers to know about you or your family that hasn't been spoken of, or what you think of Lexington about growing up here? Um. Well, I told you I feel very fortunate with the education that I got here in Lexington, and I could compare it to some college graduates, and I think I would come out ahead. Yeah, that's and I'm very okay. proud. Okay. For Lexington, and I'm very okay. thankful for Lexington. Very thankful that's and nice proud. To hear. And you ladies too? Just for the whole town in general mm -hmm. too. Right. I have just I think, I think it's we had so much respect for the that's town. That's the word and, and you use. And a pride. I, a pride in the town and wanting it to always appear mm -hmm. you know, clean and mm -hmm. you never thought of throwing papers no. on the ground. No. Or, so that word respect. That's yeah. that's your we word. We were very now. very I fortunate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely. And the We've, April nineteenth parade. Good life. It's a great place no to grow up. Yeah. yeah, you could go no. off by yourself. Never locked you doors. No. Yeah. no, no, no. So just we're well, very very <laughs> fortunate. We're so lucky. still a wonderful town today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is. And the family is very close. It's yeah, we had relatives in Woburn and Burlington. Right, you know, we family get is on a weekend. Family is uh, all yes. important. We were very, very lucky. I think. So I want to thank all of you, um, Helen, Ruth, and Nan, for joining us today. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you. It's very it much. was wonderful. We saw, our, we saw a slice of Lexington history that no one else could tell us <laughs> yeah. about, except for you three. So yeah. we thank you very, very much. Oh, I did want to show a couple of pictures oh. of your family. Uh, but we can maybe show these later. But yeah. these are two wonderful, well, wonderful pictures. We can we can uh, yeah. put those in when we edit this. Yes. Sure. Right. So, yeah. Thank you again, very, very it's much. It's been a pleasure. It has thank been you. A very much. Pleasure been a pleasure. Us too. Thank okay. you. And you're part of history for certain now. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> my, I must say, my father would be very proud. Oh. Yeah. To have us well, here. that's good uh, to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Dads and like to be proud of their children. Of their daughters, <laughs> particularly. He had a lot of pride. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Pride, I mean, respect. He did wonderfully by yeah. his family. What did he yeah. used to say? I wouldn't give you a nickel for another child, but I wouldn't take a million for what I have. Oh, that's, hey, that's a nice way to end it. Yeah. I like that.